What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Jenna as always. First off, uh, today, uh, it's almost been a month. I need a haircut, one sec. Look at that, editing magic, I'm Jandini. <laughs> but today we are talking about something cool. I know I showed it off yesterday in the 6969 69 video subscriber special, also put it on the wall. Thank you guys so much uh, for subscribing. This is actually every single one of the subscribers printed out on, on receipts, long story, but uh, go, go, watch, go watch the video. Um, but today we're talking about something I, I teased a little bit in the end of that last video. We are talking about fens. Uh, so this is this is um, well not not fens necessarily. We are talking about stockfish and stockfish integration with the auto chessboard printer, which I'm sure you guys have all seen at this point. But uh, short video today. But I wanted to fill you in because this is kind of like I had spent probably the last week in the background. I had been eating, sleeping. Literally, I have one of these in my bed, unironically, um, with with stockfish positions and stockfish itself. And I want to give you guys a quick uh, quick update today on what I pushed in into the board software, because uh, we have a full model of Stockfish 14 now inside the board. Now I'm gonna bring you over to the computer real quick and I'm gonna show you quick what Stockfish is, yeah. And this is it right here. Stockfish is an open source library that allows you to select between levels, increments, and a bunch of other settings for, for your chess board. But this is one of the leading chess AIs right now that is stupid good at playing chess. But what it outputs when, when it's going back out, and this is actually what I'm printing on the receipt, is all the weights and all the models of the Stockfish position itself. So you get a full picture of what the computer actually sees and kind of how it weighs each piece. So the way this works is you see this is a plus one nine, plus one this. It kind of gives you weights and scales on, on what the best move would be and what the potential next place uh, you could move. And going, going all the way down, this one actually updates the board itself with the top engine move uh, for this. But we're playing against a level zero Stockfish right now. Now, so it's not going to be very good. But the cool part about Stockfish is literally with a dial, and here's kind of the plan on the on the printer, a physical dial that will actually change the value of the Stockfish skill. So if I want to play a supercomputer, I can play a supercomputer. If I want to play a regular like human, and or there's a way to vary this number for like ELO and chess, nerd, nerd chess stuff. But back to the cooler part, since we hooked this all in now, let me switch to the board software. Okay, then back on the board software, uh, you'll see now we have it all set up and hooked in. So if we start making moves on the actual board itself, you'll see the AI will play the move that we did. And still, I still have to work in the detection, uh, some of the other internals. But after the AI move is made, we get a full evaluation that's running on a different server inside the same server, the server stuff. If you want to get into compiling WASM threads, uh, a little bit of JavaScript assembly, all this other stuff, I don't even want to talk about it. But um, I kind of found a workaround hack that'll let me call out to this. Uh, it's not the, not the cleanest way, but at the same time, it is, is going to be running on a computer. But you'll see the board state and the position is all updated onto these lists. This is kind of just like a cool feature, I guess, to add to the printer. I'm honestly considering even adding like a, like a dedicated one of these just for the printer. Cool idea. I kind of want to make the printer talk shit depending on how good you're doing. And like, <laughs> it's also kind of an option. But I wanted to fill you guys in saying that the official Stockfish evals and all the stuff are actually in. So now we have a chess computer that can play you at literally any level. Ah, this is like a week's worth of ah. <laughs> like like literally like a week's worth of work just yelling at my computer. Uh, it's that same thing. Like that don't don't ever mess with WebAssembly if you don't have to. I fortunately had to do volatile assembly back when I was working my this other job. But I don't even want to talk about it. But uh, yeah, quick update for today because I wanted to get this out because this was a lot of work. Uh, it seems like nothing changed, but the software has gotten like a billion times better. But that's about it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, this is absolutely ridiculous. I think I want to also show this too. It is still just like spamming through numbers. I don't even know what to do at this point. 10K is coming soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys again, as always. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.